One way to work around what your students first see when they log into your class page is the pin function. When you pin something, you're taking an item from your class feed and you're pinning it or highlighting its importance by making it also appear under the pinned item board. For example, I'm highlighting over this note I made, giving my students instructions for day two. When I hover over it, I see different options like reply, pin, report inappropriate, and edit. If I click pin, you'll see that the item is copied and moved to the left underneath the pinned item screen. Whenever your students log into your classes page, they will see the pinned item first. Initially, I thought that when you pinned multiple items, you couldn't change their order within the pinned item board, but since then I learned that you can. So first I'll model how to pin an additional item to the pinned item board, and then I'll show you how you can reorder the items within the pinned item board. I have a newly pinned note to my students up here that they'll see as soon as they log into our class page. And I have a poll that I made for my students for day three of e-learning. Let's say I wanted to pin this poll to my pinned item board. I would hover over the item. I would click on pin here and I'll see that, again, it's duplicated on the left. Let's say I wanted the poll to go before my note to the students. I would click down on my poll. I would drag it upwards, up slightly above the note. I would release it, and then you'll see that the poll has become listed first on the pin item board, followed by my note.